Okay, welcome back to our second session to this English Conversation 2 class. Um, I'd like to continue with the second session. I hope that it doesn't bother you with this many sessions in every meeting. Okay, um, the last picture was that the grass was overgrown. That's correct. And um, I'd like to know how are these people reacting? That's the question. How are these people reacting? Uh, the first one, amazed. Number two, how does uh, the, 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 the grandmother or the old uh, woman uh, respond, react? What happened? Can you see which word that is suitable with that? Opening the chain locker. Mm -hmm. um, okay, not really suitable answer. Uh, what is her expression? Her expression. Expressionnya gimana ini kira-kira? It's a, it's a, yeah, you can say it's distrust. Distrust that she, maybe uh, it was her first time to meet these kids. And this is Girl Scout. Girl Scout, yeah, Girl Scout ini. Ada Boy Scout, ada Girl Scout. Ini uh, namanya Pramuka. Kalau yang laki-laki namanya Boy Scouts, perempuan Girl Scout. Jadi apa namanya kalau di kita tidak ada pram, um, apa pramuka laki-laki, pramuka perempuan tidak di, tidak terlalu dibedakan seperti itu, uh, karena memang dari awal uh, perempuan sudah ada perannya bahkan dalam kemerdekaan Indonesia. Makanya dalam bahasa Indonesia uh, perbedaan perempuan laki-laki tidak terlalu kentara. Pemuda, pemudi, mahasiswa, mahasiswi sekarang semua jadi mahasiswa, mahasiswi hingga semua sekarang pakai mahasiswa. Dulu kan ada dibedakan perempuan laki-laki. So, for example, steward and stewardess sekarang menjadi flight attendant. Ada headmaster, kepala sekolah, headmaster untuk laki-laki, and headmistress untuk yang perempuan. Sekarang menjadi school principal. Jadi semuanya sama. ya. Jadi di, di, di yang sifatnya noun, kolektif noun seperti itu disamakan itu. Girl Scout ini tetap, sepertinya ini buku ini tetap dibedakan ini untuk Girl Scout, uh, Boy Scout. Mm, and then, and the picture three, what happened? Which one? What is her expression or her reaction? Wary. Wary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Linda? Okay. Mm -hmm. Could be wary, or we can say um, cautious. Cautious, cautious means uh, thinking of something. Something's going to happen if she doesn't give the money. There's possibility for that. And picture four. What is uh, her expression or her reaction? Charitable. 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 Mm -hmm. Charitable means that this man has helped uh, her to cut the grass and she would give the man something as a, as a token of expression, uh, thanking the man. Okay. So that's answering uh, the door. So remember, when you would like to knock someone's door, you need to know the appropriate time unless you are police officers. Kalau uh, pihak berwajib misalnya mengetuk pintu, ya jam berapapun bisa. Tapi kalau kita warga biasa, sesama tetangga, lihat jam-jamnya. Kalau jam 11, jam 9, 10 malam ke atas, itu sudah dianggap uh, personal time di, di luar sana. Jadi uh, kalau di kota-kota besar seperti New York, Chicago, California, kemudian di Sydney, kemudian di... Um, negara seperti London dan Kanada misalnya uh, itu negara kota-kota besar seperti itu akan beda style kehidupannya bila kalian tinggal di kota-kota kecil seperti misalnya tempat saya studi dulu Edwardsville itu tempatnya tenang, uh, sejuk uh, bersih dibandingkan dengan berada di kota besarnya seperti New York itu pagi sudah sangat crowded 
uh, taksi bunyi klakson kemana di mana mana uh, lebih lebih enak uh, kalau untuk sekedar jalan-jalan fine but if you want to stay more than one year um, try to choose a very quiet and nice place for you to study that's my suggestion so it's very interesting it's knock on the door okay now the next one we would welcome to this neighborhood problems you have now your neighborhood now you have problems <laughs> kalau kita kan gak mungkin tinggal sendirian di atas dunia ini pasti tinggal bersama manusia-manusia lainnya ya that's what you need to remember karena hanya di film-film kita tinggal di istana yang semua makanannya serba ada this is just fantasy old fantasy now we have this neighborhood problems wow so many things going on in this picture we have a low place and this one is no hold on i'm, I'm sending you this uh, um nt silakan diisi sambil kita mendengarkan ini this one is a picture of chaos wow look at this the intersection low place and this car is hitting a bicycle and the man was yelling at the bike at the car mm, this woman is reading something showing something to her neighbor wow look at this house it looks so messy no one is living in it in here this is building okay now we would like to read this vocabulary we have Uh, question number one until uh, number two. Mm-hmm. Um, hold on. Okay, so mm-hmm. here it is. Share. All right. Now I'd like to see that we have the word number one and number twenty-seven. I'd like to call sekarang siapa lagi sampai nomor 14. 14 coba um, ini yang kema minggu lalu yang cukup aktif uh, silakan Evelina Limbernia try to read number 1 and number 14. Okay sir. Number 1 Abaddon number 2 Advocate, three, boarded up, four, dilapidate, five, disrepair, six, fire hazard, and seven, gang, eight, ghetto, nine, graffiti, ten, hangout, eleven, Homeless. Twelve. Inner city. Thirteen. Chang. Fourteen. Liter. Okay. All right. Thank you, Evelina. Uh, are you doing okay right there? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. because you look. You, you you sound sounds like uh, tired or just wake up i don't know i hope that you're doing, doing okay i hope everyone is doing okay right there uh wherever you are right now uh we have here this uh, number 15 uh, and until 27 we would like to invite uh muhammad rifki isani try to read this number 15 until 27 Fifteen, loiter, uh, neglect, personal safety, petition, run down, run over, stray dog, uh, street light, unsafe, vagrant, vandal, vandalism, and wits. Okay, thank you, Muhammad Rifki. So. There are several vocabularies that might be new for you that you need to see the context of where people use this. 
abandon is like this one. This is abandon. Abandon berarti sudah tidak terperhatikan maknanya. Abandon. Advocate uh, when you try to help people solve the problems. That means advocate. Boarded up. Dilapidated. So, um, the most common one. Ini ada istilah yang menarik ya. Kalau ini ada juga di Indonesia, boarded up, dilapidated, disrepair, fire hazard. Fire hazard ini ada di beberapa titik ini, ini fire hazard namanya ini. Ya, jadi yang oh, di jalan ada warna merah itu kalau dibuka nanti bisa disemper kalau ada kebakaran. Um, gang, ghetto. Ghetto ini kalau di Amerika itu seperti tempat uh, perkampungan kulit hitam. Ghetto. Nah itu sometimes uh, in the suburb ada orang-orang tinggal di sana yang some, ada ada ini ada weeds situ ada vandal vandalism nah, jadi there are several several kinds of life situation that I have learned so far at that time tapi tidak semua orang kulit hitam ya ada beberapa tempat yang seperti itu ghetto itu namanya perkampungan kumuh yang khusus orang-orang kulit hitam tinggalnya Kemudian ada homeless, homeless ini ada orang kulit putih juga homeless, ada orang kulit hitam, ada orang Asia seperti kita yang kebetulan berkebangsaan Amerika dari sana, homeless, and then we have inner city, somewhere deep inside city, uh, litter, junk, uh, you know that, petition, which, which ini semacam apa ya, uh, smoke, smoke um, untuk merokok itu smoke weeds, itu uh, untuk di sana untuk bergaulan ya untuk geng uh, I never did that before nggak mm, pernah but that's uh, that's one of the interesting thing to to see ya yeah? ya yeah, smoke weeds um, rokok ada kan di kita kan begini masih kalau punya punya teman baru kenalan kan um, rokok uh, I said no I don't smoke I don't drink I don't smoke I don't do party I like to hang out, boleh hang out. Misalnya jalan-jalan di sini, hang out with friends, fine, but not doing this weeds or vandal. Vandalism ini tidak boleh di luar negeri. Misalnya kalian ngamuk, terus kalian pecahkan barang-barang, itu disebut vandalism dan bisa dipenjara loh. Makanya kalau misalnya mahasiswa demo-demo terus merusak properti, itu bisa dilaporkan ke pihak berwajib kalau di luar negeri, bisa diproses itu. Ya, criminal record, nah, makanya jangan pernah ada criminal record, ya yeah, that's that's going to damage your uh, your career. Kemudian um, stray dog, ini stray dog ini sama seperti anjing liar yang tidak terperhatikan, uh, kemudian dia punya rabies, tidak uh, liar sifatnya ya. Street light, unsafe, uh, vagrant, vagrant ini suasana yang Misalnya kalau malam hari ke taplau, kemudian rame-rame, itu namanya vagrant. Ada vibrant, sekarang lagi vibe, vibe, vibe yang lagi trend seperti itu, yeah, that's vagrant. Uh, weeds, this is very interesting, it's unsafe, and we have this junk, litter, um, loiter, so many interesting words that you need to know. Now, uh, this is about the neighborhood, yeah? neighborhood problem. So we will do this for next week. Kita akan membahas tentang ini di minggu depan. But you need to use this word, ya. Yeah. Bila gunakan kosakata ini, dilapidated. Okay, I'd like to show you this one. Dilapidated. I stop share. Um, hold on. Dilapidated. Okay, I have this. I have this vocabulary with me. I like to show you the lab. Hold on. This one. Dilapidated. Nah ini betul. Saya menggunakan Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. Ya meskipun ya uh, bidang bahasa Inggris, tapi bahasa Inggris tetap juga bukan bahasa saya. So I need to check dictionary. I don't want to tell people the wrong meaning. Nah dilapidated maksudnya ini berarti dari kata adjective uh, describe something old and in poor condition. Something ya, jadi bukan samuan, jangan dipakai ke orang. Ini untuk oh, suatu benda atau tempat. The hotel we stayed in was really dilapidated. Nah, boleh pakai misalnya. A dilapidated old car or shed. 
Kemudian uh, farm, farm house fell into state of dilapidation kalau kata benda. So, dilapidated. Jadi seperti ini loh rumah yang tidak terawat, tidak terperhatikan. Nah, itu dinamakan uh, really dilapidated. Okay. So it's um, that's a new word. And we have the word uh, litter. Litter. Uh, what does it mean? Litter. Kita lihat. Uh, bukan litter ukuran ini ya. Bukan ukuran uh, ukuran uh, masa cair kan pakai liter liter kita bukan itu. Litter here small pieces of rubbish that have been left lying on the ground in public place. Nah, litter itu sama seperti sampah tapi dia yang tercecer begitu loh di jalan. Nah itu disebut dengan litter. Ya. Uh, Kemudian ada beberapa ya, little loud, baby animals. Um, jadi meskipun bunyinya sama, tapi maknanya berbeda. Little hmm, disebut dengan uh, uh, homograph. Selanjutnya, oke. Okay. I stop share here. Nanti kita lanjutkan di sini. Um, this the word ada tadi little, uh, loiter, neglect, personal safety, uh, petition, vandalism. Oke, okay, so. Um, Mm-hmm. And the next one, when you recognize your problems, you have this neighborhood improvements. Okay, this is interesting. Tadi ada chaos ya. Sekarang sudah mulai bersih ini. Sudah mulai rapi. Sudah mulai tertata. Ya, karena di manapun juga kita tinggal di negara manapun, belahan dunia manapun. The best place to stay is the neat place, tempat yang bersih. Itu tidak tidak uh, apa ya? Tidak ada relevansinya dengan uh, keyakinan agama enggak itu semuanya universal. Tempat yang bersih adalah tempat yang terbaik untuk uh, tinggal ya. So kita yang meran bersihkan kita yang senang. We have this word. Kalau tadi kan banyak itu litter, witch, uh, gang, vandalism. Nah, sekarang yang bagusnya we have this. idea about this one ya. Ada 22 kosakata yang berkaitan sama gambar ini. We would like to see hmm, coba Vidya Elvi belum lagi. Coba silakan Vidya Elvi. Uh, number one, alternate site parking. Number two, clean up campaign. Number three, crime watch. Number four, friend friend line friendliness. Friendlines. Friendliness. Friendliness. Number five, grassroots organization. Number six, help out. Number seven, list law. Number eight, neighborhood association. Number nine, neighborly. Number ten, occupied. Number eleven, off street parking. Twelve, optimism. Thirteen, outlook. Fourteen, pitch in. Fifteen, rainbow. 16 refurbish, 17 rehabilitate, 18 rehabilitation, 19 renovate, 20 renovation, 21 suburb, 22 uh, urban renew. Okay. Urban Thank renewal. You. Renewal. Okay. Thank you, Fidia Elfi. Uh, this is the one of the good list of vocabularies dealing with neighborhood improvements. Jadi daripada change, kalau saya lebih suka kata improvement. Kalau change berarti kan kita menukar, membuang yang lama dengan yang baru. Berarti ada bagian yang lama yang bagus terbuang juga dia. Nah, itu change. Tapi kalau improvement, you keep the good things of the past, but then you add something more to make it better. Itu improvement. We have alternate side parking. It means that uh, parking, uh, parkir. Kalau di kalau di Eropa ya, misalnya di Perancis, di di London, Inggris itu public transportation sangat penting. Jadi tidak ada istilah park, parking itu tidak banyak di sana. Sementara kalau di negara seperti US, uh, parking ini sangat penting. US parking. Bahkan orang yang pakai kursi roda bisa pakai mobil. Why not? Jadi di sana tidak dibatasi. Everyone is treated equal. Semua orang diperlakukan uh, sama di sana ya. Se- mau mau dia uh, kita apa 
kemarin tuh saya dengar kalau dibilang cacat enggak sih tapi katanya disability disability uh, people orang-orang berkebutuhan khusus jadi bukan dibilang orang cacat berkebutuhan khusus jadi lebih sopan bunyinya alternate side parking jadi khusus tempat parkir buat mereka itu ada baik yang parkir di situ nanti bayar 250 dolar denda itu sekitar kalau sekarang 2,9 juta sekali parkir di sana ya wow that's fine denda dan di setiap tempat ini ada CCTV ya jadi jangan uh, main kucing-kucingan sama aparat di situ dan aparat pun memang menggunakan uang denda itu untuk uh, pembangunan juga jadi tidak dikorupsi ya that's uh, itu yang uh, perlu kita pelajari dari dari sana ya kemudian we have clean up campaign ini kampanye bahasa Inggrisnya campaign Uh, okay, come on, we have to clean our environment. Let's clean up campaign. Crime Watch, hmm, ini bukan jam kriminal, bukan, tapi uh, tindakan kriminal yang diperhatikan, what happened? Friendliness, friendliness, I believe you know already about this one. Uh, ramah di sini, orang-orangnya. Indonesia sangat terkenal dengan ramah-ramahannya. Very famous. Um, kalau saya compare antara orang Amerika dengan orang Perancis, misalnya saya lebih suka orang Amerika. Um, friendly-nya sangat bagus. Makanya kalau orang Jepang ke Perancis, pernah dia pulang dari Perancis langsung stres. <laughs> Karena beda kulturnya. Kalau di Jepang, daya ini sangat bagus ya. Sangat uh, hospitality-nya sangat bagus kalau di, di Jepang. Kalau di Perancis, who cares? Misalnya, Anda siapa sih kalau ke Menara Eiffel? Misalnya. And grassroots organization ini ini artinya organisasi yang grassroots di tingkat masyarakat dia bergerak P2P person to person grassroots di tingkat akar rumput. Help out, list low, uh, list low ini berkaitan sama uh, perumahan list low and the neighborhood association neighborly off street parking off street parking ini maksudnya parkir di di luar jalan. Off street parking, that's okay if you have the area boleh kalau ada tempatnya. Kalau nggak ada tulisan parking jangan parkir di situ, karena nanti kalau mobil anda dihancurin sama orang, anda kami nggak bisa nuntut karena itu tempat bukan buat mobil. Ya. Kemudian optimism, outlook kitchen, I believe you know already about this refurbish, rehabilitate. Ini ada kemarin ada yang bertanya. Memang sih pecandu narkoba harus dia rehabilitasi gitu loh. Kalau dia pengguna, korban, uh, drugs, berarti bisa direhabilitasi, di rehab. Fisiknya di, disembuhkan, uh, jiwanya, pikirannya juga. Tapi yang berbahaya itu pengedar. Pengedar narkoba itu harus ditangkap dan diproses dengan hukum. Karena dia ibarat virus ya, virus COVID. <laughs> Jadi menyebar gitu loh. Jadi kalau yang anak-anak jadi korban bisa kita rehabilitasi. That's the word rehabilitation. Rehabilitate kata kerja, rehabilitation kata benda. Renovate ini sudah ada masuk ke dalam bahasa Indonesia renovasi, hmm. bukan memperbaiki renovasi. Uh, sober, sober means when you are um, after you drink uh, a bottle of alcohol and then you get drunk. Uh, nanti itu sudah mulai sober. Urban renewal. Hmm, okay. All right. Now we uh, would like to see this one. What changes have taken place in this neighborhood? What changes? Apa yang perubahan-perubahan apa yang terjadi? What happened? This one. No parking. Ada ini. Can anyone say about this? What changes have taken place in this neighborhood? Hmm. Uh, looks clean. Looks clean, good. Mm-hmm. What else? Mm-hmm. What else? More peaceful. More people, nice. Mm-hmm. Peaceful, peaceful. Peaceful, good. Peaceful, neat, and everything uh, in proper. Semua sudah uh, teratur. improper um, and we can we can see a new store ada toko baru di sini delicate apa nih delicate 
uh, I'm not quite sure delicate seal or something. Uh, semuanya bagus di sini rapi, clean is very nice. That's what that's what we call improvement. You clean your place and you enjoy the place. That's that's the most principle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now for your practice of conversation untuk minggu depan, I'd like to discuss about this with you. Saya mau diskusi uh, dengan anda. So this is for meeting four. Kita minggu depan kan kita Uh, conversation practice one karena nggak mungkin kan kita belajar conversation teori aja pasti ada speaking practice so you need to practice the conversation karena waktu kita hanya dari jam setengah delapan sampai jam sembilan lewat sepuluh sementara jumlah jumlah kalian udah berapa ini ada sampai dua puluh how many of you ini saya lihat Uh, ada 12 participant. Ini memang 12 orang ya? Atau ada yang tidak hadir? Ada ini hadir. Uh, Rifki, Muhammad Ilham Zalfi, Andre Dinda, Evelina, uh, Farian Sajo, Fitya Evi, Jelita, Karin, Muhammad Rifki, Ulfaiza, Zakia. Is there anyone else? Ada lagi yang yang mungkin tidak hadir hari ini? Anyone knows? Ada yang tahu? Kalau 12 kita conversation practice berarti kalau 10 menit saja satu orang itu sudah memakan waktu eh, 120 menit 2 jam. Sementara kita dikasih waktu jam setengah 8 sampai 9 lewat 10. It's not going to be enough. Tidak akan cukup. Uh, kita cuma waktu 100 menit, so kurang ya. So solusinya, we will have a practice about. Nah, this is ini meeting keempat, berarti kalian tidak akan membuat cakapan tentang ini, tapi tentang unit six yang kita bahas meeting satu uh, dan meeting dua. I stop chat di sini. Kemarin ada yang bertanya tentang uh, apa sih istilahnya aturan untuk ini ya. Uh, tugas conversation one. Nah ini dia. Nah this is the regulation English conversation two conversation practice one assignment uh, out semester 2021-2022 ya. Nah ini uh, aturannya. Uh, silakan disimak apa yang harus dikerjakan untuk semester sorry untuk conversation practice one. Okay. So you choose your partner. Silakan anda pilih partnernya siapa. Mis, uh, apakah Vidya dengan Zakia atau uh, Vidya dengan Ilham. So up to you. Let me know in the list of our conversation group. Silakan ditentukan nanti ya. Uh, boleh. This is the conversation you need to practice your English. You record it. Anda rekam. Okay. Nah ini dia yang harus kita lakukan. Uh, dia sesuai dengan yang ada di conversation book 2. So, this is the unit, places to live. Mm, we cover almost everything. Jadi, kemarin ada yang menyarankan tidak, tidak lagi satu unit you choose, so you make a conversation, a lively conversation, as if you have actual conversation with your peer, dengan temannya. Nah, apa yang harus dilakukan? Ini dia. Nah, um, you need to record your conversation. Ini kan nanti akan saya upload lagi ke YouTube. Kalau misalnya ada nggak paham, silakan disimak lagi nanti. Pertama, you draw with a partner. Nah, bikin gambar dengan teman. Misalnya kalau ketemu face to face atau secara online boleh. Bikin gambar masing-masing. Uh, with a partner. Ini partner's name-nya nanti tulis. Uh, apakah misalnya Evelina dengan Jackie atau Evelina dengan yang lainnya. Terserah. Partner's name. And then with a partner, describe your house or apartment. Describe. Jadi jangan lihatkan gambarnya dulu. Jadi uh, describe aja dulu. And then from your partner's description, draw a picture of his or her home. Jadi bayangkan seolah uh, rumahnya seperti apa. For example, my house has two floors. It has uh, grass in front of it. And the painting is 
blue with uh, black as the roof. In front of the house, I have three. Nah, seperti tadi, jadi ada gambaran. And then, setelah itu, kalian bikin gambar, lihatkan ke partner. Kalau misalnya di online, nanti lihatkan ke partner. Ini ya gambar rumahnya, misalnya ya. Uh, kemudian, have your partner correct your picture and explain the correction. How accurate was your drawing? Nah, sambil makan ini, sambil sambil ngomong. Uh, okay, is this your house? No. Or, yes, that's my house. You make it a perfect picture. Misalnya. Nah, berarti selesai satu bagian. Masuk kemudian, nah, kita tanya lagi. What colors are the walls in your home? Nah, nanti sambil dia lihat gambar, what colors are in your home? Gambarnya, warnanya apa? What floor coverings are there? Nah, what is on the windows? Nanti jawab. Uh, you can on the windows, you can see it's a, it's a green uh, green layer, misalnya, atau, uh, and a certain uh, painting that you can see next to the window, dekat jendela, misalnya. Kemudian, what furniture is in your house? You see cupboard, what appliances, what would you like to redecorate, what would you like to change, ada kayak mau ditukar, what would you like to buy? Nanti gantian, take turn. Misalnya, uh, Vidya Elfi sekarang yang bertanya ke Zakia. Zakia, what colors are the walls in your home? Nanti Zakia menjawab, the colors in my home are blue, green, and yellow. Misalnya, atau terserah warnanya apa aja. Jadi tidak ada di sini tidak ada right or wrong assignment ya. Yang ada kita practice English conversation. What would you like to buy for your home? Apa yang mau dibeli untuk rumah? And then uh, ask this question. Which half this housing adds interest you? Ini kalau ada iklan tentang rumah. Uh, kemudian what is your dream home? Describe it. Well, my dream home is that I have uh, one floor, but I have a very wide backyard. And I have a swimming pool. Nah, seperti itu. Jadi, kalian bercakap-cakap seolah benar-benar berkomunikasi. Yeah. Where would it be? Nanti si uh, Fidia nanya, where would it be? Well, it would be somewhere next to Kuranji, misalnya, or in Purus. <laughs> yeah. And who would live there with you? Uh, siapa yang tinggal dengan kalian di sana? My parents live with me there, or um, only with my wife and my son, for example, you can say. And then, would you rent it or buy it? Why? You can explain. Bisa dijelaskan ya. And partner interview, ini nanti ini terakhir ya. Uh, ini boy ini terakhir. Partner interview in your home, what runs on electricity, on gas or oil? Nah, pasti udah tahu ini. Apa yang pakai listrik? Gas atau minyak? Oke. Okay. Minyak, I have a... No, 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 uh, no appliances use oil. Most of my appliances use electricity. Only my stove that has gas. And I also have the oil stove. Misalnya. Kompon minyak misalnya. Ada, fine. You can say that. In your home, where are the secret breakers or fuse boxes? Have you ever changed a few switch? Nah, ini simple aja jawabannya. Oh, the circuit can be found in in the next to the refrigerator or in the backyard, halaman belakang misalnya, atau in the front part of my house, bagian depan rumah misalnya. Yeah. Where are the meters? How do you read them? Meterannya di mana? <laughs> Meteran. Meteran listrik di mana misalnya? Atau meteran air misalnya? Oh, we'll... My family locate the meters in front of our house in order that the officers are easy to read or take notes on the meters. Yeah. Have you read them? The jobs I have or you haven't. And then this one, this is interesting. This is about uh, Aunt Betty. Ini salah satu kasus. Jadi ada surat ke Aunt Betty. Dear Aunt Betty, We have a problem with our neighbor, Matt. My husband and I were friendly with Matt and his wife, Jane. But now Jane has left Matt and they are getting a divorce. Oh, more with the idea. Ever since Jane left, Matt has come to our door every evening at supper time. He not only stays for supper, but he ends up staying for the whole evening. I know he's lonely and unhappy, and he likes my home-cooked meals. But I'm getting tired of this. After all, I'm not his wife. 
Oke, okay. nah ini maksudnya si Aunt Betty ini punya tetangga namanya Matt and Jane. Ternyata si Jane sudah bercerai dengan si Matt. Dan Matt ini sering datang ke rumah si Betty tiap malam. Uh, bahkan ini uh, door supper time pas makan malam. Jadi karena orang makan malam terus dikasih makan. Oke. Okay. Uh, supper he ends up staying bahkan dia tidur semalaman di rumah itu uh, jadi nah pertanyaannya adalah read and discuss this letter tapi kita sudah baca ini suratnya together write a reply from on betty giving advice to not his wife jadi bayangkan seolah kalian itu on betty apa sih syaratnya buat on betty kepada ini not his wife ini hmm, berarti ini anonim Nah, apa kira-kira sarannya, advice-nya ya. Nah, boleh ini berarti dalam conversation semuanya kalian bikin jawabannya dulu di di konsep lalu try to practice in English. Karena nanti uh, kita akan saling menyaksikan uh, video-video itu sama-sama ya, saling menyaksikan kalian kasih feedback. And then the next one uh, setelah jawab ini kita masuk berikutnya with a partner write eight question to ask about your home and neighborhood. 8 pertanyaan yang akan ditanyakan tentang uh, home and neighborhood as another pair of question dan jawab langsung boleh 8 pertanyaan um, pertanyaannya boleh my first question is boleh atau oke okay, I start my question with this one why um, misalnya why did did you decide to stay there uh, boleh nanti temannya jawab because bla 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 ya ini pan interview. Nah, terakhir ini cross culture exchange, pengalaman uh, studi lintas budaya. Ini um, compare cultures where possible. Pertanyaan pertama, what makes a neighborhood good in your culture? Describe a good neighborhood. Apa yang membuat uh, tetangga itu baik? Jelaskan apa itu baik menurut Anda. You you can answer that. Number two. What makes a neighbor good in your culture? Ya, gimana uh, apa yang membuat seorang tetangga itu baik di budaya kita? Budaya ini, your culture. Three, boleh kalau misalnya ada yang orang Minang atau yang dari Medan misalnya atau dari daerah lain, boleh. You can answer it as your own uh, perception or concept. Number three, describe a person you know who is a good neighbor. Sebutkan salah seorang yang Anda kenal tetangga yang baik. Apa yang telah lakukan orang ini ke tetangganya? Kenapa dia orang baik? What did what did this man or the woman do? Yang keempat, uh, what was your neighborhood like in your hometown? Seperti apa sih uh, pemukiman atau tempat tinggal tetangga di hometown Anda gitu loh, ya. Nah, semua ini direkam conversation you practice and then you send it to me um to this email shayed@gmail.com. Nah, jadi kirimkan ke sini. Dan kalau bisa durasinya jangan terlalu panjang, cukup maksimal 10 menit. That's enough because mm, you will have uh, many we will have many videos from you. So, I'm afraid that this is not going to be enough for the time, okay? Ada mau ditanyakan? Sir, I want uh, asking. Mm -hmm. Silakan. Uh, mengenai yang tetangga tadi, sir. Um, uh. Okay, hold on. Evelina, I think it's less than one minute. I'm afraid Zoom will uh, shut down <laughs> my uh, house. So I'll, we will continue in session session three. Okay, I stop share here. Okay, please continue to session three. Okay, thank you. Okay,